Hey guys, I'm pretty excited about showing you this one. This is the Bengali Monk Rush that I do on Arena on Arabia. <laughs> I know, it sounds crazy, but if your opponent either A, doesn't pressure you that much, or B, you have a wallable base, or C, you just, you're able to keep them at bay, you can pull off an amazing monk rush on Arabia. And it is so much fun. And it feels like nobody expects it. That's probably the best part about it. I've done it now on African Clearing, uh, Valley. I think I did it. I may have done it on um, Yucatan. I can't remember. But I've done it on multiple open maps now. I mean, it's ridiculously fun to do. So I always try and get my boring pretty quick, using a little goose action here to try and uh, minimize the damage to my villagers. Sometimes I'll shoot him with a town center, other times not. Get back to work. Okay. Um, let's check on our opponent. So our opponent is Chinese. Obviously they start off with one extra villager. Um, or is it two extra villagers? I think it's two extra villagers. And uh, he has a pretty decent base. I mean, it's wallable. Uh, his gold is exposed a little bit, but he's got safe berries. My gold is exposed in the front. So I'm gonna have to try, as one thing you have to do is you have to secure a gold. It doesn't have to be your main gold, but you have to secure a gold for this strat to work. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to make monks. I have four gold and four berries. So in that sense, I kind of got the, the crappy map generation. I do have some decent wood lines over here though. Um, so it's kind of, you know, wallable-ish. This is the hardest side to wall here. Okay, I am a little bit behind. I think I have a little bit of idle TC time there. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, I'm almost a whole villager behind. A little idle, oh no, what am I, what am I saying? What am I saying? Oh, shoot. Well, that definitely helped me out. He killed his boar with a TC. Um, here I am comparing myself to a Chinese player, not really. I'm not remembering that they start with more bills. So disregard that part. But uh, So that definitely helps, though. Um, I have done this map, this strat several times on, on different maps before, though, without the player killing their boar. So it is viable even if your player, your t um, opponent goofs a flute like this guy did. <laughs> But uh, it definitely doesn't hurt to have your opponent screw up a little bit. Uh, I think I usually go for 19, maybe 20 bills, depending on um, the situation. You, said you can't always get as fast as of a castle time as you can on an arena, just because you do have to wall and spend some more resources and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I do I do the best I can, and I usually average about 13ish castle time, whereas um, my fastest time on arena is in the 12s. So that's weird. He pushes in one, but then builds a mill for the other two? Like, you would do better using this to get more scouting information and then just killing all three of them up here, and then only doing it with two bills instead of three or four. Makes for a lot of extra trips and, uh... I don't know. Wasted food. Interesting choice by him. Alright, so, about to get Loom. And pushing in some of the Ibex, I think I got one more to push in. I could actually push in some of these here, but I think I need to find out where he's at. Yeah, I haven't scouted where he's at yet, so that's probably going to be my next step. And yeah, that's what we do. We go forward to try and find where our opponent's at. I love this overlay I have on my, uh... I love how he attacked me. It's like, dude, I'm in feudal. Like, is that really a fight you want to take? But he did get a little bit of uh, three hit points off of me. But this overlay shows you this little ring on the map to give you an idea where your opponent might be somewhere in that circle. I've also changed a couple mods out. This is a different UI than I was formerly using. You can see the economic upgrades in the corner. They'll be listed as white. You don't get any upgrades on this build right off the bat. Walling up quickly now. 
I almost have the resources that I need. I'll sell the stone as soon as I get the required food. And here we go. We are on the way to Castle Age. I had to do this so I could protect my gold. That's the most important thing is protecting the gold. So he's just now in Feudal Age and I'm on the way to Castle Age. And what's great about this is he's at 25 villagers. Um, I'm at 23. But as soon as I hit Castle Age, I'll be at 25 as well because I get two extra free bills every time I age up. So what is my opponent doing? He's building a market, adding a lot of farms. You got to do that to compensate for losing that boar. So I got the blacksmith there. And no pressure so far for me. So I'm just going to wall up, protect my resources as much as possible. You got to get a lot of wood to make sure you can drop some farms, uh, the walls that you need for Arabia. Um, uh, monasteries and siege workshops and you might be saying well why are you why are you walling to your TC like that that's crazy man well because I figure Chinese you typically will see archers not always but typically you'll see archers and so uh, if I wall to my TC um, there's a good chance of him getting shot by the TC you know he's gonna have to come to the to the corners but here I am in Castle Age as you see we're at 13 and change not bad so we're going to go ahead and get our first monastery up. And a second monastery up. That's why you prioritize a lot on wood. Start adding in some farms, going heavy on gold. We'll add a second mining camp here soon. First monk is out. I see a scout. Immediately pull him back in because I don't want to lose him. Going to get the uh, monk upgrade, so the little tank here. If you're not aware, Bengali monks have three uh, armor for archers and melee. So, uh, pierce armor and uh, melee armor, so that's great. Makes them super tanky, especially against Feudal Age units, and that's what we're up against right now. He is almost 50% on the way to castle. Okay, so now we have 45 hit point monks. And uh, heal our scout up. And we're just going to keep adding in monks non-stop. So he's building a stable. Um, I think he was not originally intending on doing that. The way he's got his thing set up, it looks like he wants to go into archers, maybe uh, drop a castle and then go into Chuganu. Um, but uh, he is going into uh, a stable now to make light cav against the monks. So one of the things you want to do with any monk rush, but even on Arabia, you need to identify where the relics are and try and get at least a few of them in there. Uh, that way you can um, have a little additional income coming in. And that was such a mistake by him. I mean, <laughs> coming in there trying to get my uh, trying to get my monk, but then bailing on it last second. You might as well keep on hitting it and see if you can't kill him, but or at the very least delete it. So I mean, look at this. A crap load of monks are coming out. Insane. And I mean, I'm, I actually have one villager more than he does, believe it or not. Getting the gold upgrade now. And the monks come forward. There's eight of them right there. Now he's adding in another town center. Just one, I don't see the other one yet and he's adding his own monk own monks now and here we go I'm gonna try and get some more conversions I'll even spend two monks on one guy just to save him a monk if I need to so we've got you know decent amount of freaking scout cavalry now just from com getting conversions he's got them kind of scattered all over the place you idiots I guess hoping for uh, some monk kills Having to force some houses up, these conversions, man. Uh, we're also getting a redemption now, because we're going to start converting his buildings. I think he deletes this guy, if I remember right. Yep. <laughs> Whether that was intentional or not, I don't know, but... <laughs> he does. Has a monk of his own. Like, what is one monk going to do? I'm not sure, but... Uh, that guy goes down pretty quick. 
And now it's time to start converting his buildings. And the great thing about it is he can either give me his buildings or he can delete them. Either way, I'm happy with that. And so he's going to start building a castle here. And I love forcing a castle out of somebody, whether it's Arabia or Arena. Uh, whenever it's on one side of their base, and I can access them on all other sides of the base, especially on Arabia. It's actually, I feel like, easier uh, to get in because there isn't stone walls and stuff. Um, probably should have tried to run these guys away, but it was kind of fun to have them attacking the foundation there. <laughs> and look at this. <laughs> so many freaking monks, man. <laughs> and we're just getting conversion after conversion. Uh... We're actually only one villager behind, despite being on one town center, and he has two town centers, just due to conversions here. Now we're going to get some kills with his own light cat that we converted. Probably going to try to convert one or two of these guys here. But I'm pretty happy with getting these kills. Chukanu coming out. Um, thank you very much. I'll take that Chikanu. He's now a Brazilian Chikanu. Oh, and so are you. He's building another market, probably trying to balance out his economy. Let's take a look at it right now. He's got a ton of wood and hardly any food or gold, so that's... He's trying to sell some wood. I would imagine. Siege Workshop coming up, though. I mean, look at this non-stop conversion. So we're just going to convert this Maganel here. Oh, no. I thought we were. So then he says, para un poco man, something like, uh, little man, or something like that. It's it's amazing how butthurt people get about monk rushes, but especially monk rushes on Arabia. <laughs> I mean, look at the amount of monks we have here, man. This is insane. Like, I don't care how many light cat you throw at me now, uh, from this rather starved economy, it's not gonna work. He's even adding an archery range now, but what are, what are archers gonna do against Bengali monks? Not a whole lot. Now we're just going to keep on building uh, Siege Workshop. He does say GG there. Uh, but the plan was to get out uh, some Siege Elephants and start pushing in here the rest of the way. But, uh, I mean, it just... You overreact and build a castle. I don't know if those are overreaction, but you build a castle to stop the pressure over there. All we do is just adjust fire and come from a different angle. It's really, really effective. you gotta, you got to have a good time, castle at each time, and you got to be able to get a ball of monks, but once you get that ball of monks, I mean, it's so hard for them to react and do something about it. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Monk Rush Arabia strat, and we'll catch you guys next time.